on another unboxing of an FM2 mug board. So this video will be taking a look at this MSI A75-MA-E35, which I purchased from Kikatech for £50. So the mug board that I bought last week, the Asus one, which I paid about £100 for, got returned because the USB 3 speeds were rubbish. And I hoping this one would be better, or I'm not too worried because I paid half the price for it. Have a look at the box first. So at the top here, they highlight a couple of CPU chipsets that they advise using. So that's the A8 and the A6 chipsets from AMD. So that's the ones with the graphics cards on. They don't have any mention there about the Athlon chipsets, which is the one I've bought. So that's the one without the graphics card. Uh, just along the top though, so we've got compatible with Windows 8, Windows 7, some mention of AMD memory. Wow. They also boast about some easy and smart features, it's friendly GUI, so that'd be the UEFI GUI. One touch overclocking, rubbish on that one. Gaming mouse optimised, what difference is the motherboard going to make for that? And overclocking profile export. So in the case we've got a driver CD, quick installation guide, quick, in what looks like several different languages. And it's double sided. <laughs> yeah, right, quick. Got the mudboard back plate. That's just a fairly plain silver colour with a small little writing of what the port is. Two SATA 3 6 gigabyte cables. They look a bit thin to be 6 gig, I believe. Got the full blown instruction manual. And uh, that's. Yeah, that's in a few different languages. Then we come on to the mug board, and that's in an anti-static bag. Right, so here's the mug board. You'll notice that most connectors on here are predominantly black, with the exception of one blue PCIe X16 and six white SATA connectors. So looking at the ports on the back here, we've got a combined PS2, which can do keyboard or mouse, two USB 2. The monitor output, so you've got VJ, DVI, a HDMI at the bottom there. Two more USB 2s, two USB 3s, another two USB 2s, gigabit Ethernet, and six 3.5mm audio connectors. So that's a total of two, four, six USB 2s on the back there. For the PCI slots, we've got one PCIe 2 X16 slot, they say it's running at X16 speeds. We've got two PCIe X1 and one legacy P PCI. First thing I have to say is these are the most obscure initials on any connectors I've seen on a motherboard. Right, the first one, JORD1, front side audio connector, JBAT1, clear CMOS, JUSB PW1, any guesses? All right, it's a jumper to allow the USB devices connected to the back to bring the above board, bring the computer out of suspend or power on. Oh, obscure enough for you. All right, a USB 3 connector, two USB 2 connectors, JFP1 and JFP2 are the front side panel connectors. These are an odd arrangement here. All right, on this side we have on this side we've got six SATA 6 gigabyte connectors. This one I don't even know. It says JSP11 is not even featured in the instruction manual. I did have a look, it's not there at all, not there on the picture. JLPT1 is probably a parallel port. Uh, I've got a connector for it's a system fan, that's a four pin connector. The motherboard ATX power supply. JTPM1, COM1, JTPM1. Again, I don't know, I, I, I have no idea. COM1's going to be a serial port. But memory slots, that's two DDR3 slots, which can take up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. On this side, you've got a place for the CPU. CPU fan, that's a four pin, so that'd be speed controlled. And a CPU power supply. And that is it. So that was a look at the MSI FM2 A75 MA E35 motherboard. So thanks for watching, see you later.